you know, you see that in their inside game, but it's uh, it's been a problem that plagued them, I think, all last season, too. Right. And and as you can see from the stat line here, um, Chiba sh shoots well. Um, uh, Samsung really just killed itself with terrible outside shooting. But, uh, you know, if they would have combined the outside shooting with that inside play with Ratliff and, and Markeith Cummings, the... Chiba may not have pulled this one off. I think so. You know, usually Samsung hits a lot more of those open jumpers from outside. There's, yeah. a, there's a period, I think, in the third quarter where they missed maybe two or three three-pointers in a row on pretty open looks. And if they knock those down, that makes the whole game different going into the fourth quarter. 100%. It's, uh, I, would put, I would put Ratliff as the MVP for the game. and uh, but, but one thing I've just been saying to the fans is that I'm just so impressed by the Chiba Jets and the teamwork. There's real no clear uh, MVP or star of the show. They just they just fill in gaps for each other where they need to. That's right. I, I think Gavin Edwards has been playing great. He's put, he's put up a lot of points, I think, this tournament, but uh, I agree. And where do you think, just last question, where do you think, uh, if you look forward to the semifinals and finals, uh, how, do you, how do you see this working with Chiba? And, and do you think they can go all the way? I think they can. I mean, they came in as underdogs when you at the start of the tournament, but they've been playing. I think they're the only three and O team. Uh, they are. Right they, now, they're so. the only three and O team in the group stage. And, and just last, last question: Looking at this uh, upcoming uh, matchup against Shenzhen and the Ryukyu Golden Kings, what, what do you say? I mean, you you just put your hands up and you don't know what's going to happen. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see tonight. So I know, uh, you know, being from Japan, I, I know the. The Golden Kings pretty well, also. So um, they're a very athletic team. So and it, and Shenzhen, I know very well too. And they don't really have a strong inside presence. Uh, Hilton Armstrong might just dominate them tonight. We'll see. I we'll see. So. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank Ryan. Thank you. Thanks, man. We have both teams out on the floor now, and uh, the Goyang Orion Orions and Haoyan Archland. Orions have been uh, fighting hard in each game so far, and uh, again, they're 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 playing for survival. We don't know what's going to happen in their group. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of toss up happening um, with with the you know Shenzhen has gone one and one. Uh, the Orions are now one and one. The Kings are the only undefeated team and Pauyan Archland is zero and two. So who would have thought before this tournament that you would have Japanese teams dominating the standings? That's just, uh, uh, you know, you, you just don't know. You just don't know what's gonna happen when you've got all these strong teams together. So, um, we're at an integrated resort. There's a lot of people betting, but you really can't bet on these games. The only thing I can say out of Group A, though, is it looks like Archland is going home. So, so this next game is really uh, about practice for the upcoming season, and it's it's not about survival because they're already knocked out. However, for the Orions, you know, if, if there's a three-way tie in the group, or, or excuse me, there can only be a two-way tie at this point. Um, no, wait, there can be a three-way tie, uh, sorry. Um, it, if there's a, a three-way tie, it'll all depend on their performance. So they're incentivized with our system, which is following FIBA rules for this type of group play to execute a total blowout. So I think we're gonna see the Orions and uh, Dwarik Spencer, who just dominated last night, and just raining threes on Shenzhen in that blowout game. Uh, we'll just see him try to try to rain a, a, even more. So it's exciting. Lots of emotion. Lots of fun. This is this is the best preseason tournament in Asia that I have ever seen. And it continues. We are only on day three out of five.
Cummings blocked by Gaffney. Just Gaffney's athleticism is, is something that's just really so much fun to watch. And uh, you know, him and Edwards are great additions to the team this year, as as we discussed with Mr. Goldstein. And uh, you know, it's 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 going to continue to be an electric matchup uh, with Gaffney Edwards against whoever they're at. What they what they don't have in raw size and brute strength, they make up for with their athleticism and intensity, and that that's the most fun thing to watch about Chiba. I would have never, I I, I am not an expert on Japanese basketball whatsoever, but uh, this has been this has been fun to fun to be a part of. We are about to have an interview. Not only there are fans from Macau coming to watch the Super 8, I know you're from Hong Kong, Tim. What do you think about the Super 8 tournament so far? Uh, I think it's really, uh, really well run. I mean, it's, uh, the stadium here is incredible. Uh, you know, it's a really good atmosphere, and I'm looking forward uh, to see more uh, teams come and compete. What do you expect uh, from your trip to Macau and uh, from this uh, Super 8 tournament? I'm just expecting some good basketball. I mean, uh, we've seen some pretty good games, some pretty close games so far. We've seen the backboard get broken. I mean, we're going to see a lot more to come, I'm sure. Yeah, thank you, Tim. Thank you so much. We're six minutes away from the start of this next match. And as I explained just a second ago, the dynamic here is Orians needs to pound Pauyan to guarantee their spot in the semifinals going on beyond this game. So we can bet that they're going to work their hardest to do a pounding. Orions from last night. Let's recap the game from last night. Mu Tai Young's brother, Mu Tai Jun, uh, punished them from the outside shooting. The Jared Solinger uh, added a lot to Shenzhen with his skill, but is just not in game shape yet. He's going to play himself into shape like he does most seasons. And. Uh, Dwarf Spencer, just a total dominating force with his shooting on offense. And that was really what made the difference for Shenzhen. I mean, excuse me for the Orients. And and as the, the, the Orients are very, uh, they're dominating on offense, uh, averaging 85 points per game. And that's just standing out among the competition. So let's see if they can continue it. Orient have pulled some magic out of their hat so far with uh, with a win against Zhejiang Guangxia, which was totally unexpected. And, uh, and let's see what they can do against Pao Yan. I'm bringing, uh, I'm bringing Henry Karen's into the booth. Henry is the CFO of the Super 8. And he's here to talk about our financial position. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. The, um, the, uh, the uh, basketball game that just, uh, just wrapped up, Samsung obviously uh, coming in one and one, needing the win to advance. Um, I think we were expecting, a, you know, a relatively tight game, but it's it's pretty amazing how how neck and neck that was. And what do you think? Would you have guessed at the beginning of the week that two Japanese teams would be the undefeated teams in the Super Eight? Well, we'll see how the Kings perform later tonight, but um, obviously, you know, the expectation uh, was that it would be relatively competitive, but not that the Japanese would be, you know, um, so powerful. Um, exactly. Exactly. And 
Let's get ready for the game here. We're two minutes and 50 seconds away from the starting game. We've got on Orions the starting five, Mu Tai Jong, Hyo Il Sung, Jo Hoi Hin, Vernon Macklin, Tai Jo Yu, and Paulion Archelan. We have Tian Wei Ju, Thomas Elliott Lovarto, Chen Quan Chen, Douglas Creighton, Seskis at Venus. And the team is coached by the youngest coach and 22 for red, Vernon Macklin. What do you want me to say about 22? I'm sorry. Ben Metcalf, the youngest coach in the Super 8 been head coach of Puyuan this year. Um, he he trained under uh, Su Jinjo, who is the head coach for the Fubon Braves and uh, former head coach for Chinese Taipei. Just a class act, both of these gentlemen. And, and Ben's just you know 30 years old, uh, got a lot of energy. He's working with a young team. He's a good mentor. He's a big brother to these guys, and he commands good respect. So, uh, yeah, they're just a great team to be around. We're about to start here. We're one minute away from tip-off, and uh, see Vernon Macklin over there tucking in his shirt. As I was saying last night to the fans, Vernon Macklin had a cup of coffee in the CBA. He came in for about a week and got cut, but. I just remember that that was about, I'm going to say, four years ago now. And uh, he just he just looked like a different person. He's lean, he's in shape. He comes with a huge intensity. And uh, that really helped make the difference for that blowout win last night against Shen Zhen. And uh, he just took advantage of the weakness of Shen Zhen with no clear front court presence and just beat the crap out of him. Shen Zhen obviously favored to win that game. Coming in very strong, center position, didn't have height advantage, didn't have weight advantage. Surprised everyone. We're hoping that we see a good game. But expecting that the size and the strength of the uh, Orion team is going to give uh, Buyuan some, some trouble on the outset. And Starting five, getting ready to suit up. Coming on the court. Expecting a fast-paced game out of Puyuan. Creighton with the size on the wing. Also plays it deep inside as well. It's very interesting to see Taiwan play, you know, the different styles of basketball um, in Asia. Uh, they're very heavy to heart guard game. When you see them in their Taiwanese league, um, whereas when we're seeing the Shenzhen and, and the Zhejiang Longsha teams, very hard 4-5 position. That's tip off to start it off. All right. Into Vernon Macklin. Doesn't convert. Back out to number 26, Tejo Liu. Moon Tai Jun shoots it, doesn't convert. Macklin back out there. He tries to drive in, gets fouled. On Macklin is going to continue to pressure that, that center position. We'll see him with the ball driving early on.
Henry, why don't we? Do, I mean, why don't we talk about the Super Eight and the concept and and where it is now and uh, where we think it's going to be. I think I think what we've seen here is that you know the parity level between teams, even though there's extreme discrepancies in operating you know budgets and and kind of concentrations, whether it's you know China with a huge intensity on basketball, whereas you know countries like Japan have you know baseball and soccer that really dominate a lot of the the, the top fan support bases. Um, what we've seen is that the parity level is actually quite equal uh, in East Asia, and the pairings of this you know group stages has really demonstrated that it's a very, very competitive landscape. Um, and in that sense, I think it's really, uh, you know, a very supportive to the teams and the domestic leagues um, to have a, you know, to have a, to have an integrated property which, which allows Asia to crown the champion. Macklin charges in for the layup. Orioles take a four point lead as we go to a timeout. Sorry, continue Henry. But really, the driving factor is going to be how do we how do we continue uh, demonstrating to the teams and the leagues that there's real value in having um, integrated competition. Um, I know the fans out there demand it. All of you watching today obviously understand that watching the best of the best from each of these regions um, is an important part of that. Also interesting to see here in Taiwan in the Puyuan team, the imports, the local players, a lot of them speaking the local language. I think it's kind of an interesting way to look at it where the integration of the team is much tighter, whereas a lot of the more professional teams take Shenzhen with a signee two days ago coming in and really baptism by fire. Well, we just um, see it's a, it's a totally different game between all of the leagues and the way it's set up. I mean, you've got Taiwan, which, um, as you can see, they're they're at a disadvantage size-wise. I, I don't, I wouldn't take any of these players over, you know, 1.9 meters really, or maybe 1.95 if I give them a little little more there. Um, great guard play, uh, and as you go up the food chain. You see with the with the Koreans, just a little bit more money to spend on imports, and then there's China that just blows everyone out of the water with their imports. But uh, just just very different styles of play across all the leagues. But when you get them all together in the same room, there's still a lot of parity, and, and that's what the Super Eight is all about: is bringing teams in that are top four in their each individual leagues and throwing them against each other. Inbound by Orions. Running those high passes at the top of the three point block. Moon for three. Doesn't convert. Seskis with the ball. We've seen a lot of hard picks at the top of the key. Blocking. He's got to get watch his foul trouble early on in the game, Arter, but two. That's for sure. First basket for Pauly in there. It's a, it's a strong move. And my co-commentator Alex Olin is back from a slight break. And we're back. It's going to be a 
you fans will not be subjected to my terrible color commentary. Or, uh, excuse me, play-by-play. -play. You're not giving yourself enough credit there, Matt Byer, the CEO of the Super 8 here. I'm good at drinking, bad at talking. <laughs> <laughs> Got a good one here with Ryan's taking on Puyo in. I was just telling the fans before you got back, Alex, that uh, this is really a game about the Orians want to drill Pauyan as hard as they can for a win. Oh, yeah. And Pauyan is looking at this game at this point because they're clearly going to be eliminated. This is a game about practice and nothing else, right? Right. Well, they know that Goyang is going to be coming at them hard. Goyang knows that they're still very well alive in this tournament. <laughs> in their group. And because because the Taiwanese season starts so late, uh, head coach Ben Metcalf is really... Yeah, head coach Ben Metcalf. Head, head, head coach Ben Metcalf is, is really looking at this. Uh, this is an opportunity to try out some import players that, uh, you know, he wouldn't have a chance to look at. That was great. Oh, sorry. That's going uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Head coach Ben Metcalf, always scheming. He's, he makes great adjustments. This guy is always up, cutting and looking at film, preparing his team, identifying weaknesses, playing to his team's strengths. And look at Cespus of Venus. He gets trapped. Cespus of Venus, he's had himself some games in the tournament. This Puyan team, they've got nothing to hang their heads about. They've had a great tournament. Turns it over. Thomas Lavarado. He's a leader for this team as he takes it from three. Can't connect. Just a little short. Here comes the Orions. And let's see if we can see Dewarik Spencer heat up as he comes in here. He had himself a game last night versus Shunja and about 30 points and about a hundred three-pointers. He and Lu Tai Jung are a pretty deadly combination. I'm just looking at the pictures online from the last game. And some really, really, really great stuff for Saw. Oh, yeah, Here's Dewar Spencer. Ones. He's going to start tormenting. Dewar Spencer going in right at the cup. Vernon Macklin can't hang on to the oh, rebound. That's sweaty hands. Oh, yeah. And Vernon Macklin. He's got that Patrick Ewing sweat going on right now. He does. He's got that Patrick Ewing work ethic, too. Let's see if Puyang can do anything. Down 9-2. Seskis for three. Can't get it. Carl Hall has been looking great for Puyen. The war expensive. Finds Muntai John on top of the key. And he usually makes that. Dwarf Spencer. Trying to draw the foul, can't do it. For three. Alex, what are you doing? Hey. 
it's, it's turned into a beautiful day here in Macau, but were you woken up this morning by that thunderstorm? I was. <laughs> I was laying in bed and I, I thought there was about to be a Stolen typhoon. Away by Luckily, Studio City Macau. No reason to leave. Got everything you need. Wait, you go I don't think I'm ever going to leave here in my life. I don't think so either. I think I'm going to die at Studio City. <laughs> Hopefully from old age and not a heart attack from all the fun at the Super 8. All good? But two things. Rebounding looks a little bit... Rebounding that side. We have to watch out and make sure that... We've got on the microphone referee Nico Fernandez. Originally from Portugal. Wow. Who moved to Australia? Uh, we've got Reverie Ho Chung Jen and uh, Alice Lee as his co officials. Some super refs. Super refs. It's a. Uh, so the thing is, we have an effect. We just call it. Taiwanese, Australian, Macanese combo in the stripes. Let's go, boys. Coach, let's go, please. Some some of the nice ladies from Studio City Macau helping us. Coach, let's go. Let's go. Organize let's go, this event. Their warm hospitality has been felt by all. It's been an unbelievable help. Uh, we just talked about it, guys, 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 guys. We just talked about it. We're going to have attention on it now. Hey, be passionate. We have to be in, okay? Officials talking with Vernon Macklin. Boy tries, tries to lay it in, but can't take advantage. Ooh, we have some lazy passing. So this is Venus, he's gotta get something going. Carl Hall versus Vernon Macklin, that's an interesting matchup. I like Carl Hall's toughness. I like his go-getter attitude, but Vernon Macklin, clearly the more skilled player, the longer player, more physical. Let's see how Carl Hall guards him. Spencer bringing it up. And he is not so much a one guard. Guys, 25, hold. Bonus, two shots. Seska's called for the foul. Bonus two. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, Alice, hang on. Guys, why is that 5 1 when we call offensive guy? Okay, cool. Two shots. Two shots. Bonus. The refs are on top of it here. Bonus on the help. No, it's not two, it's no you. It's from the guy who went down. 26. Guys, five. No, no, it's five. Choi Jin Su. He'll shoot two. Hey, hang on. I think. Ah, it's too big for the This is the first. And the Orions, who got off to a quick start, are struggling here. This is a very low scoring quarter. 9 7. Close the gap click, within click, three. Click. Side, side, out, out. Oh, hello. 
working his way inside. Two shots, two shots, 54, nine half, two. And that's what they need to do. They need to get Carl Hall switched off of Vernon Good. Macklin so that he can work his way inside and draw an easy foul. Oh, it's, I mean, Vernon Macklin's everywhere, bro. Stop. Right, He's a big shot. boy, Carl Hall. He is. Right. Not as big as Garrett Siler, though. Now oh, Garrett Siler, yes. Got one. Of course, Fubon Braves. All import. of my making fun of Jared Solinger in his weight doesn't compare anything to Siler. <laughs> Garrett Siler is just a big human being. Oh. I mean, if he doesn't get that out of control, he's going to have a heart attack when he's 31. Guy's got to take care of himself. When he was playing in Shanghai in the CBA, he was probably about 50 pounds lighter. Such this comes off Lincoln. That's right, Garrett Siler, really a, a journeyman in Asia. Oh yeah, as as are most of these imports. You know, we, we're, in, the, in the last game we saw Edwards and uh, and Gaffney who have played both in Korea and in Japan. Right, and. Uh, you know, the, it's it's shot, just shot, sort shot. of an incestuous play. pool of play. talent play uh, going between these leagues. Macklin denies Korean. Wow. He made it past the defender but tripped Bravo. over his own feet. It happens. It's Choi Jin Su. Trying to get inside. And the Orion's really Watch struggling. That. He just got a little tangled up on his own feet there. The Orion's yeah. really struggling with this Puyan defense right now. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how they just blew out Chen Jen last night. And it's a one point game at the end of the first quarter and a very low scoring game, too. You know, Puyan has really struck with all of their opponents. Despite being a huge underdog coming into the tournament, they fought with Shun Jun, they fought with Ryukyu Golden Kings, and they're fighting with going on Orion Lions right now. Explanation and not receiving it. And Carl Hall blocking his Vernon block. Macklin. Boom! To the hole. To the Two hole. Shot. Can't get it. He wanted the Five and four. one. Rocky Couldn't fail. convert. But and not a bad effort. And he's not bad from the free throw line either. So. And he's got to get him going, and he knows it. Yeah. This team relies okay, on him. It goes through him. We have two, 22 and one shot. No it seems to me that the, you know, one of the reasons Orion's isn't pulling ahead and dominating is because they're resting Spencer for what's ahead. Two. It could be. It could five, be. Five, play, play, they're play. they're given, very much. But given the group, if I were them, I would be trying to blow them out of the water. So we may see that in the quarters to come. I think so, too. We've right, seen Spencer down. really down. heat up. In the second two half or second quarter of games, first quarter he's been defense. relatively this cold and silent. Well, he heats up when it counts. Exactly. Big players show up in big moments. Yep. Vernon Macklin misses both of them. One for technique of foul. One for the technique of foul. One more. Who got the tech? I didn't see that. I think that was Carl Hall guarding Vernon right. Macklin. And, with, and that was for arguing with the ref. And I, I'm not sure if it was arguing or for some trash talk. What? Either what? way, Coach Ben Metcalf right, wisely right. going to sit Carl Hall down. Just let him cool off a bit. Sometimes you got to do that. These guys get worked up, and, and you know they're not bad guys. But you're sitting there, and you're, you're so intense. The testosterone's flowing, and Hey, hey, oh, shot, yeah, shot. you just want to beat the crap out of someone. Oh, definitely. Ah. 
It'll be 11 9 after the first quarter. Both teams with huge defensive stops. Ryan's leading by two. Well, the Orions struggling to penetrate the Puyan defense, man. What do you think they need to do? Oh, I, I think they need to get Dwarf Spencer in there and start raining some threes. Get, get Moon Tai Jung back in there, too. I mean, okay. they, they don't have any other shooters in. Right. They're not, they're not even really taking shots. Shooting um, four for 19 from the field. Yeah, that's, that's the, low. That's awful. They're both, they're both teams are shooting horribly, and, and Orient's is... You know, they're not making their free throws. Uh, they just need to get their head in the game. I mean, you come in and you see a team that's clearly weaker than you as Archiland is, and you don't be an arrogant team. You just got to go in there and dominate. Also, yet to take advantage of their it's size awesome. matchups. We just gave a, a couple of fist bumps to Markeith. Markeith and, uh, Cummings, Markeith, Ricardo Ratliff. Yeah. Coming by the commentator set. Coming by, gracing us with their presence. Lots of love at the Super 8. So what do you think? I mean, this is, well, I thought before we could say, hey, this is a defensive battle, but it's really just clearly no one's showing up on offense yet today. I think so, too. It's, it's really... Not so much defenses, but both teams hurting themselves. Hey, Alex, would you mind if I called uh, a, a VIP guest commentator to come and... Uh... I don't mind at all. All right, I'm Alex, I am going to... Uh kick you out for just a couple minutes and I'm going to bring in Steve Hahn who is the former GM of the Orients to give us some background about his team. Wow. What a pleasure to be joined. Steve Hahn. Just a moment fans. We're about to get some real good inside intel. Oh, no. Steve's being shy. He doesn't want to be in here. Steve? No? Oh. Not willing to give away any secrets of the trade. All right, fine. I thought we were going to make it a little bit more interesting. We're all about depth of content here at the Super 8. Exactly. Hey, hey, hey. None of that superficial stuff. Behind the scene looks. Behind the scene looks. We have a whole film crew in. in here from LA right now uh, doing behind the scenes footage, um, you know, looking at the different ins and outs of the players and whatnot. And, uh, no. We're, we've got we've got experts. We've got NBA GMs here. We've got international scouts. We've got uh, Olympic level referees. Um, we've got media from the U.S. All of the participating countries and territories. Global sponsors. We're at, at the beautiful Studio City Macau. Oh yeah, and why not come to the beautiful studio city in Macau? And that's all in addition to the best teams in China, Korea, Japan, and Chinese Taipei. Vernon Macklin trying to go to work. Troy Jean's here at the top. And it's not too often you see a big as quick as Bang. daring Spencer to shoot. Oh. He'll take that bet. What do you think? Are we going to see an upset today? Holy. Wow. I don't think so. No. No, not after that. Not when, you see, <laughs> not when you see an athletic play like that. My baseline. Orange. But this Puyan team, they, they really stick with you the whole game. Yeah. They, they do not go away. Oh, I mean, they're, they're champions in their league for many seasons. A dynasty in Chinese Taipei. Hey, hey, hey.
as Dunn steals it away from Vernon Macklin. But Vernon hey, Macklin hey, denies them at the hey. other end. And there we go. And Puyan on top, 15 to 14. Lavarado coming back in. This guy's a complete leader. 18, 18. Just a, a director on his on his role. Let's see if the Orions can get things figured out. They know they've got a great opportunity after handing it to Shun Jun, beating them handily last night. Hey, hey, hey. Gonna pull up for three and hits it. And the Orions do not stay down for long. Now up by four. Hey, okay, no hope, no hope. We're gonna try to try to get things going with a three. And Dwar Spencer. Navigating through traffic, weaving left and right. From the, from the first of October, it's not going to be a travel anymore, but yes, it is. Because you get the ball one step when you hold the ball, then you do a double. So one double. He called for a travel, and that's a very good call. I did not see that. Listen into the ref's huddle. Coach Ben Metcalf working on how to stop Vernon Macklin. Nice play from Chung Shijie.
Trap Macklin immediately, just like Metcalf said. Ball still in the air. Trap, trap, trap. Latonian spreads it around. Can't get it to go. Out to Thomas Lavarado. Runs his team. Good to see Seska said Venus back in. Came up limping in the second in the first quarter. Yeah. Starting to come back. Wu Hong Sing with a two-pointer. Dora Spencer left wide open at three. He'll take that. He's taking candy from a baby. Seskis can't connect. Lapointe picks it back up. And Shaoli Shuni brings this thing back within one. Ackland gets trapped again. Spencer Dwarick. Dwarick Spencer. Weaving, making people miss. He's starting to take over this game and doing exactly what he's done the past two games of the tournament. Warming up in the second quarter, getting hot in the second half, and leading this team to a nice victory. Side, side. Side bolt. Foul. White number 15. That's Mr. Rose. No foul. Choi Jisoo called for the foul. Okay. Ten screen. Joined here again by my colleague and friend Jason Lee. Hey Alex, how are you? How are you doing, what, sir? Good match going on. We're in for another good one. With Puyen versus Orions. Puyen doing much better than yesterday. More they, organized. They are. This team bounces back. They analyze film better than anyone. Dor Spencer wow, is feeling it. He's been as all star this whole hey, few days. Hey, hey. Absolutely. Right, that's right. Cut. Says Venus turns Quick. it over. Hand, hand. Quite the handles. Find Spencer, who's gonna put it up again and nails it. And he's got about eight points in a row now. Ooh. Wow. Foul 15 wide, pushing foul. Side. And Brian's Shaoshin goes down. Hops back up, he's okay. Completely unintentional. Look at that show of sportsmanship that we see the Orion's head coach, Chuo Sung, been, go to help the Puyan player up. That's what we want to see, good sportsmanship. Saskis so from three. Can't get it. And then Macklin just reaches over hey, hey. the shorter Puya and opponents. Spencer with comes a down. Dish. Nice dish to Macklin, you're right. Macklin collects the rebound, goes up, right, goes for the dunk. So, nah, nah, nah. Intentional does not exist anymore. He's there. You try to be athletic. That's why the cards are spectacular. That's what he is. 2-0. Push, two. So, okay, because we really get to take out that way. Okay. 
The super reps, really commanding respect here. What I try to tell him is he wants to be athletic, which is good. But that's why the contact is spectacular. I believe that was Vernon Macklin trying to argue for a flagrant foul. Refs wisely spotting that Vernon Macklin just too athletic. Who you in? Hey, 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 out, out. Unintentionally fouled. Nice defense from the Orions. These guys are true professionals, just masterminds. Let's see if Puyuan can stay within range. Yeah, so need to work on their offense a little bit, uh, just dishing out the ball better. Uh, but you know, I agree. The last few turnovers are kind of hurting them. They've been holding the ball a little too much. They're best when they can move the ball around, spread the love, find Seskis for open looks. Or find uh, Chen Guanquan, who's been quiet. Yeah, he needs down to step low. up his game. I mean, he's relying on Carl Hall, but um, he can't play the whole whole game. Definitely not. Clark Spencer, and they're not going to play off him anymore. This guy's got the hot hand. He's winding down the clock. Kicks it out. Vernon Macklin. Just gotta put it up soon. Nope. Macklin turns it over. Thomas Leverado. Guiding off his pull-up jumper. Can't get it to go. jumper from Thomas Alvarado. You may not have the stat sheet to show it, but this guy is a total leader on this team. Very much like a Yuki Tagashi role. It's just a field general. Navigating traffic, telling people where to go, calling plays. He's a crucial, crucial member to the two young team. And Metcalf calls him a coach in himself. Oh, Incredible coach. Athletic, coach play. athletic play. There we go. Oh, he yeah. heard us talking about him. <laughs> There's Chung Guantan with a nice rebound. Coming in. This kid's got a bright future. Great fish. And I'm able to finish. Chung Guantan, there he is. Korean presence, no. Korean clawing back. There's Thomas Zavato. Look at that. Beautiful. Chill, son. Can't believe it. Nice. Vernon Macklin working his way inside. And Chung Guanchen, he's physical, he's big. But he hasn't seen anything like Vernon Macklin. Nice speed. And misses it. Chung Guanchen there to collect the rebound. They really need Mark to Spencer. Those points. Oh, absolutely. Those are crucial. If 
they have any hope of winning this game. On the Macklin again, and he just needs to go to work against Chambonche. And he does just that. For a relatively easy two-pointer, it says because we need him at the bottom, but it doesn't matter. Coach McCaff needs to talk to his team. They need to regroup. Metcalf assembles the troop. Let's see if he goes back to double teaming Macklin. Double teaming Macklin worked for the first possession or so, but the Orions really caught on, creating space, and that's when Dwarf Spencer caught fire. NBA range three. Heel with the ball. Over to Kim. That was great hustle. Nice. Sixteen minutes to play. Ryan's by eight. 16 seconds, sorry. Free throws. Even as he banks that one, make it four for five. Carl Hall been quiet ever since he got called for that technical. Banks another one. You don't see, you don't see that too often. But Ryan's now up by 10. seconds left. Kim's going to put it up. Can't get it. Troy put it up. I'm sorry. After the first half, the Lion lead 37. Archland 27. A good first half from the Orion. From the Orions. Spencer really caught on. Vernon Macklin avoiding a couple traps. Beating some double teams, 37-27. They'll need more help from uh, Choi and Kim if they want to continue to blow this game open. Puyun, on the other hand, they need some help from Chun Guanchun and Douglas Creighton. Hey, Coach. Dwork Spencer scored 16 points in the second quarter. How are you going to stop that in the second half? It's a very good question. I mean, he's an unbelievable player. He did the exact same thing yesterday. So uh, I think he did that on the first half of the second quarter. So in the second half of the, of the second quarter, I think we did a much better job. But we just got to keep doing it. First half, only 27 points from you guys. How are you going to turn, turn, turn drinks around? Uh, hopefully we can hit some shots. Uh, we keep finding an uphill battle every first half. So we seem to turn around the second half, see if we can do it again today. Thanks, Coach. Thank Hearing from Coach Benjamin Metcalf. He's got his team rallying all two, all three days. They're still very much in this game, only down by 10 points. But uh, as you heard, Dwarak Spencer coming in with a monster second quarter, 16 points in the second quarter. Chen Shijie, the third time the team's highest score is 8 points. How do you feel now? Actually, because it's because the whole team did a defense and helped us to lead our attack. Yeah. 那这个比赛呢，今天已经是第三天的比赛了，背靠背靠背的赛事，连续第三天，你觉得累吗？感觉这个 The Super A 的比赛怎么样？嗯，其实这比赛蛮强度蛮高的，然后我们还是打要打出我们自己服务员本身的精神，就永不放弃嘛。虽然可能背靠背，还是还是要拼到底。对，好，谢谢你，师姐。Hearing from Chen Shijie, great Puyuan player, saying that 
their offensive opportunities come when they get defensive stops. Mentioned that too, yeah, and it has a really mentioning that uh, they have a never giving up attitude and that's what they've been showing through, throughout these three days. Although being an uphill battle, they've really shown a lot of heart on the court, inside, outside. Oh yeah, these guys rally. I mean, at one point they rallied down from Shenzhen, being, bringing it to within one. Played Ryukyu extremely hard last night. They're playing the Orions extremely hard today. Just seeing all these hustle plays from the highlights from the first half. There's Spencer. If it wasn't for that man, shots. heating up in the second quarter. I would have to say he's the best shooting guards in this tournament so far, Spencer. Oh, he's got to be in the run. He's got to be in the mix. He's not afraid to take those difficult shots, but and he's and sinking them. And Coach Chuo Sung just knows how to create for him. And they find him open looks after open looks after open looks. Let's see if Korean can get back into it after a short break. A little halftime show from the Super 8 and cheerleading squad. Super 8. Got all the entertainment covered. Here at the beautiful studio city in Macau, this integrated resort. All right, and the Orions, after the first half, leading 37-27. For the most part, besides DeWar Spencer, it's been an even game. Vernon Macklin has been working in Chung Guanchen and Seskaset Venus down below as he usually does. Vernon Macklin really showing what he could do inside going to work. I mean, when a big can put it on the floor like that, this guy is nearly seven feet tall. And when he has that kind of explosiveness, it's just scary. Look at that pass from Vernon Macklin. Finds the open man. Let's go down team. When they fire from all cylinders, they're scary. When they get their passing going, and they get their shooting going from Muntai Jung, Dwar Spencer. They can be very, very, very good. If they head into this semifinal stage, look for them to advance to the finals. Still got that bitter taste in their mouth after a one-point loss to the Ryukyu Golden Kings on day one. Spoke with them. They very much feel like they had that game in the bag and gave it away late. Chun Shijie leading the Puyun team with eight points thus far. Really unselfish play from Puyun team. Chun Shijie speaking that their offensive plays come when they get defensive stops. And they can beat Goyang back back to getting on D. But they've got to stop these two men right here, Dewar Spencer and Vernon Macklin. Dewar Spencer, 16 points in one quarter. Really heating up. When he hits a couple of those threes, he becomes even more dangerous. He gets the hot hand, and you gotta play him at three-point range, and he'll cut in on you. Thomas Lavarado leading his team with a very nice lay-in. Beautiful pass nice. inside. Chumbanchan there to collect the rebound. Chen Guanchen looks like he'll be a great big man for Chinese Taipei in the coming years. He's got to learn to defend that, though. He's quite young, too. Oh, yeah. 
you see in the first half, Ryan's leading at 37-27, shooting 13 of 34 from the field, six of 12 from three-point land, and nearly all of those have been from Spencer. Five of nine three throws, 17 rebounds, eight assists. There's Priyan Archelin, 11 of 31 from the field, two of 11 three-pointers. They need to hit on a couple of those. Free throws only three for four. Rebounds, 21 rebounds. They've got to be happy with their offensive rebounds and a lot of second chance points to keep them in this game. Only six assists. They need to spread the ball more. They need to play it a little more inside with Chung Guan Chen. See if they can get some things going. Dwarg Spencer, 16 points all in the second quarter. Four rebounds, one assist. Vernon Macklin, 12 points, 12 rebounds, five assists. And just does so much on both ends of the court. Chun Shijie, eight points, one assist. And Thomas Elliott, the Bavarado, four points, no assist, but he is leading that team on the offensive end and on the defense. A lot of hustle points for that guy. Let's see if Puyun can pick it up in the second half. Looks like Coach yeah, Kalf has a lot of things to talk to them about and how to really come back on the second quarter. Second oh, yeah. Half. I'm a captain of Orient, uh, Munte right here. Hey, Munte, tell me how tired you are right now. Um, yeah, we're pretty tired. It was a late game last night. I think a lot of us didn't get to our room until after midnight. So, uh, yeah, this is a pretty tough game right now. You guys are up by 10 points after first half. How are you going to keep the advantage? Um, hopefully we can keep playing good defense and uh, keep getting rebounds and, and extend on the lead, hopefully. Okay, good luck in your second half. Thank you. Hearing from Moon Tai Jung. And after today, we've seen one game. Chiba Jets securing a place in the semifinals. 3-0 in the group phase, beating the Seoul Samsung Thunders 82-75, effectively knocking the Thunders out, unless, of course, Guangsha loses tonight against Fubon, which would put us into a three-way tie between three teams that are all one and two. But do not mistake, those three teams are quite good. Going on, Ryan Ryan's taking on Puyo and Arjelin for you right now. It's 7.30 coming up. We got Shun Shun Leopard versus Ryuki Golden Kings. 9.30, Zhejiang Guangsha versus Fubon Braves. And Zhejiang Guangsha needs that win to secure a place in the semifinals. Shunjun Leopard, Ryu, Golden Kings. That is a very much sudden death type of match. Shunjun needs that win with any hope of getting in the semifinals. And Ryu, Golden Kings with a win secure a place in the semifinals. Right now, Jason, the two only undefeated teams we have in this tournament are both from Japan. Chiba Jets moving to 3-0, and Ryukyu Golden Kings at 2-0. Ryukyu is still at the top of their respective group. 2-0, Shunjin Leopard 1-1, one one. Goyoung Orion Ryans looking for that second win, desperately trying to pull ahead. Uh, Puyo Archelin still looking for their first win, 0-2. Chiba Jets 3-0, they look unstoppable. They really Did surprised you know? the whole crowd, I think. Oh, I think so, too. They've been the surprise of the tournament and very pleasant surprise. Jujang Guangsha Lions, 1-1. One, one. Seoul Samsung Thunders, 1-2. Fubon Braves, yet to get a win, but they'll look for it against Jujang Guangsha coming up at 9.30. Alex, uh, this over in the tournament, I've uh, heard from the fans that they really didn't think that the Japanese team was going to show such high quality basketball. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And look at uh, Vernon Macklin speaking of high quality basketball. This guy is nothing but a professional. 12 points, 5 for 9 from the field, 2 rebounds, 5 assists. And the reason for the low amount of rebounds. There haven't been too many opportunities. They only shots. make shots. Vernon Macklin showing inside. Nice move. And blocking. That defense. Even showing some range. Yeah, the, the big man with some range. 
Back to Chun Guan Chen down. He can face him up, he can back him down. This guy's game is so diverse. Yeah, let's see what Coach McCaff would point uh, to you and how they want to play him. Exactly. How do you counter a switch army knife? You can do it all. And of course, Dewark Spencer, this guy, one of the deadliest shooters in this tournament. 16 points, six of eight from the field, four of five from three pointers, and four rebounds. I mean, four of five from three pointers is just unheard of. Not even in the NBA people do that. Look at that. It's such a quick release, pretty stroke. And Macklin says, I will take your double team and kick it out. Makes makes Puyan play him on the outside. Cuts it in for an easy two. He'll look to get hot again. Really blow this thing open. Stay tuned, we got another half of great basketball coming up in less than a minute 30. Upcoming match, 7.30, stay tuned. We got Shun Shun Leopard taking on Ryukyu Golden King. Third game in this day three of this tournament. And that'll be a good one. That is a do or die for Shun Shun Leopard. And then finally, we've got Zhijian Guangxia Lions versus the Fubon Brave. Zhijian Guangxia looks to finally have found their rhythm last night. Giannis Barus is just joining the team, second, te second game with the team. And Guangxia needs that win to advance. Yeah, We're back to the game. Let's go to the city, Macau. Really nice movement from the Orion. They kick it out so well. Fighting in this, but Dewar Spencer driving to the cup can't finish though. Looking to get things started. I can't let this get out of hand.
swinging the ball around. Thomas Lavarado kicks it out of Cessna's of Venus in the corner. Can't get it to go. Warwick Spencer with the rebound. Wide open for Troy. He can't get it. And Ty Joe E. This is an easy putback. Sussex so so goes down to the goes down the floor hard. You don't like to see that. Falls to the floor hard. Gets up, he's okay. He's getting tough. And Cleveland throws it away. It's for Vernon Magdalene inside. Draws the blocking foul. 24, block, two. You move sideways, never establish LGP. It's two shots. Hey, play on. Yeah, this is real play, this is real life. Play on. Yeah, yeah. Trill song. Looking a little concerned. Korean's got to get a grip on this thing. Then. Ryan's starting to run away with it. Thomas Alvarado trying to rally his team. Gets from three. He got it. That's what they needed. Inject a little life into this team. Down by 11. Over seven minutes to go in the third. Cam looking for open man. Macklin gonna face him up and bank it in. Wow. How many dimensions to this guy's game are there? Can't sell, can't sell. You, have the, yeah, yeah, you put the basket in after, this one is can't sell. That's what I meant. You better get two shots. To our expense with a nice drive. Almost Hang puts on. it in for the three point play. Huyen really needs to double team on him with his uh, hot shots right now. When a guy like Spencer can just weave in and out and just avoid the double teams, makes it so tough on a defense. Next goal, free throws. Ryan's back up by 15. Can't track it down. Seska gets a rebound. Puts it in. That's what just steps out. Nice. Actually, we see a nice play from Seska. After he grabs the rebound and lays it back in. Seskis goes down to Chung Guanchen in the, in the low post. Beautiful pass. Turns it over. Oh, 
Spencer. Oh, Doyle Young nails it. Doyle Young with a very nice play. Coach Chu really not letting the Ryan, letting the Chu in any break, keeping their all-star players on the court. Oh yeah, it's pedal to the metal now. They see those semifinals within the in their grasp and they're going for it. <laughs> Vernon Macklin gets a rebound again. Oh. And Hill gets it stolen away. We're in. Push him now. That's his foul. Two shots. Yeah, you made a foul, so they shot. You got four foul. That's it. Sometimes. So that's his shoot two from the line. Beautiful pass. Spencer nails it. Macklin finds the cutting Spencer. Beautiful pass. Beautiful finish. Spencer and Macklin really starting to connect. Orient's looking to blow this thing open. Spencer with a sweet stroke. He's just feeling it now. Gonna push, they're not gonna let Dwarf Spencer bring this thing up easy. You somehow find separation to get an open boot and connect. Spencer call for the foul.
Go, boys. After, after, after. Still really playing hard to keep themselves in this thing. Down by 16, a little over 3.30 to go in the third quarter. Jules uh, wants to see his team pick up the pace. Shenzhen coaches and coaching staff, as well as GM and the Fu Bond staff and head coach Roger Shu looking on. They're both wondering what's going to happen. Vernon Macklin off his foot. Carl Hall, we haven't seen him in a in a while. Let's see if he can get things going. Puyan's got to change things up. Tom's Lavarado with a deep three and he connects. They needed that. Now down by 13. They're starting to claw their way back into this. If they can get within 10, this team's dangerous. They can play tough defense. They'll run it at you. If Carl Hall gets going and can contain Vernon Macklin, let's find out if, if they can. Travel call. And Kim Do Su. Come on, come on, come on. We already need to get him a second cup down that way. Down now. Guys. Let's go. Hey, hey. Three. Oh, yeah, it's filling it. Jin hits the three. Go home, go home, go home, 54. Bonus two, bonus. Two shot. And they can't do that. This is just free points for the Orients. To our expense. This guy does not miss these. It. They're trying to stay within 10. They know they can climb their way back in this. A minute 30 left in the third quarter. For Macklin. About to go to work on Carl Hall. Spinning inside to avoid the double team with a really hard reverse layup, but he connects anyway, so his long arms just wrap around anybody. Thomas Lavarado. Can't get it to go. Puyan gets a rebound. Carl Hall. Let's see what he tries to do against Vernon Macklin. Goes inside. And gets up over him. 
Paul and Macklin, I have a feeling these two are going to be going at it for the remainder of the night. Spencer hits another three. And this is now getting ridiculous for Spencer. This guy might have more threes than the, than the entire pre-win team. Judgment. Watch it, watch it. Thomas Lavarado, you rarely see that. Shot clock winds down. Can't get a shot off. We're even gonna go with a full court press. Just six seconds left. Vernon Macklin. He's gotta take it up. Looking at Spencer. Spencer. And he nails it. Just ridiculous. This guy's on fire. 64 69. Orion's lead it after three. Mainly due because of that man right there, Dwarf Spencer. Listen to Coach Ben Metcalf. He's catching his short corner. Rally You've already come up. When he gets in the short corner, die. Just die. Again, then we got shooter, shooter here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, so. Google mail the walk. If they go zone, that's how we're doing it. If not, just set that side pick and roll. Yeah, so. Google them and so ding it. So ding it. Yeah. Sometimes hold on. Hey,我们一直就是他那一口气，我们都来到十分钟，对，我们一直就是差那一口气，我们都拉到十分钟，对，我们都拉到十分钟，对，我们都拉到十分钟，对，我们都拉到十分钟，对，我们都拉到十分
Cambria with a miss to start the start the fourth quarter. And they gotta climb their way back into this and they gotta climb their way back in quick. Because of Venus coming back in. He and Carl hey, Hall hey, have hey. worked together well this tournament. Let's see what they can do. Venus down low. Can't get it to go. Comes out for the rebound. Hey, Jim Wei Shu gets it. Hong takes the shot. Can't get it to go. Call for a travel. Interesting call. Kim Kong Soon can't believe it. We got ball. but gets it picked, plucked away by Cesc Savinas. Jen for the shot, gets it to go. Just like that, at least cut down to 12. The Orions can't sleep on this team. They will come back on you, they will climb their way back up. Nice rejection. Carl Hall, sorry. Again, Chen Shijie. Can't get it to go. Eskis going for the rebound. Can't get to it in time. Jinsu, Seskis is elbowed in the mouth. Bit of a flop there. Just going forth. Hey, hey. Hey. all left open for three. Can't get it to drop. Orient's hey, bringing back in hey. the big guns. Hey, hey. Hand up, hand up. Macklin taking it inside. Can't get it to go. Yeah. 
Spencer does a nice job of saying the ball, bouncing it off. Stats gets Venus. No way. You're going and you're chasing his off. Says it's called for the foul on the inbound. Daring them to take the three, he does. Completely air balls to Warwick Spencer down below. Says, I got you. For three, can't connect. Hey, set, set, set. Okay, okay. Hey, hey. Oh, beautiful pass for that one. Time out, Find, guys. Finds the open tie. Down low post. Nice cut. Just completely lost his man. Right underneath the basket. Easy layup. <laughs> Connection, easy layup. Nice pass from Macklin. Macklin always with his eyes at looking for the cutter. Take a listen to the trail song. Boys, boys, the basket is made. Quick look. The basket is made. Quick look. One of you only. Okay? Carl Hall gearing up. Dwarf Spencer and Vernon Macklin talking things over. They want to keep this lead, hold on to it, maybe build to it. They're looking at the upcoming semifinals starting tomorrow. Seskis open three, rolls in and out. Nice. Macklin finds another cutting. Kim Kong Soon. White. Two. Hands down. Two shots. Grab that ball. New Orleans looking to get their second win in this tournament. We'll have to see how the 7:30 game plays out between Ryukyu and Shun Jun. But their chances are looking strong. We've got to make sure we don't have a three-way tie. But they're rooting for Ryukyu Golden Kings to take that. Oh, 
Spencer bringing things up. Deep three and connects. Kim Kong Thomas Alvarado. Quinn's holding on to the ball a little too much, a little too much dribbling, Don't do that. bouncing around. Don't do this one. This one with the finger. Hey. Cole. Cole. You know what? You owe me there with your with your arm on the rebound when you try to put the, the, the player outside and the rebound there. Deep three yeah. shot. Yeah. Nails it. Kim Kong. When you go to catch the advantage, Exciting you go, you put your career. You know what? You try to make the game close. Fast on two. Number two, number two. Yeah, yeah. Pass on two. No, 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 he's doing on five, he's on three. Ah, no time, no time. Let's go, two. Chill, Sung trying to talk things over with the ref, he's not having it. Pong misses the first one. such a deadly weapon. It's not too often that a swingman like this can has handles like that. Macklin double team quickly gets out of it. Finds the open man in the corner for three. Yes. And they're blowing this thing open. Four to four. Guys, guys. Time out. Time out. Well, it's not as well. <laughs> hey, that's my peep one. And Orion starting that's to blow this one. thing open. 80 to no, 57. Four minutes left in the fourth quarter. Right. Good. Red ball, red ball. Red ball, we go this way. Okay, four minutes. Coach Ben Metcalf talking things over. He's not happy with this guy's defense. Yeah. Yeah. 23, 23, 23, 23 points. Go boys! Chul okay. Sung, Kim Byung Chul, talking things over with the Orient's bench. They're having a great game, but there's always room for improvement with these guys. Red Bull, Red Bull. Chul Sung, true perfectionist. Uses his team practice hard every day. Can't connect. Chun Guangchun can't get the rebound. Chun Shijie, the smaller Chun Shijie, comes out with the rebound. Pong trying to put the team on his back. A nice jump shot. See how Puyan plays defense here. There's not much time left. We need to play aggressive defense. Fast-paced offense. They leave the guy open again. And connects. Chun Chun Q. Three-pointer. Three. 
Here's Dewar Spencer. Kicks it out. Orion's starting to look like they're trying to wind down the clock. Kim Kong soon. Back out. Can't get it. Gets a rebound. Spencer can't hold on to it. Played tough by Thomas Lavarado. Shoots over him for the three. Can't get it to go. But Orion's with another rebound. Rolls in and out on Song Chang Wu. Chang Zhiji is going to try and push it. Can't get it. Choice saves it. Up to Dewarik Spencer. Red edge. Push. Time out. Time out. I'm now Puyum. We gotta talk things over. Ryan's bench not looking happy. Coming up, we've got a great one. Shunjun Leopard versus Ryuki Golden King coming up at 7.30. And this is a huge match. Shunjun looking to stay alive. After taking a beating from the Orients last night, Ryuki Golden Kings 2-0. They're looking to ensure a spot in the semifinals. A win and you're in for the Golden Kings. They control their own destiny. And then finally at 9.30, judging on Guangzhou Lions. After Seoul Samsung falling to Chiba Jets, all they need is a win to get into the semifinals. Kuban Braves looking for their first win and to create a three-way tie where anything is possible. Eighty-three fifty-nine. Orient's lead it. Two twenty left in the fourth. Play, play. Kim Kong Soon acts like he wants to pull up. Doesn't pull up. Finally does pull up. Can't get it to go. Play, play, play. Oh, beautiful pick and move, move, pick and move, pick and roll move. Get off of his foot, can't get it. We're even starting to push a little bit. Cut the lead down to 20. Beat the trap easy. Picking it up the court. Kim Johnson so big. Great handles. Thomas Lavarado falls down. Kim pulls up but can't take advantage. Nice play from Chen Wei Chu. One minute to go. Set the screen. Set the screen. Orient's starting to wind this thing down. Kim to the basket. Can't get it to go.
doing a double set with only set the 24, so it was 22. Okay, cool. 22 seconds. We're gonna start on an inbound the ball. Warriors team not letting up. Shoot two. Can't get the first one. Well, valiant effort from Puyan. They don't go away. The score definitely does not reflect the effort from Puyan. They really played a great game against a much bigger, more physical, faster, and better shooting Orient's team. Sub out. Still some confusion as the Orient's looking to inbound the ball. We're missing down. Ooh. A pretty shot. Close this thing out for the Orients. Spencer decided to go yeah, off for 16 yeah. points. Orion Orion's 85-65 over Puya and Archelin. And Puya and Archelin played a pretty good game. Outmatched in size and talent. But really the story, Dewarik Spencer just heating up. Had about 10 three-pointers. And this guy just went off as he's done in the past two games in the second half. Team showing respect for each other. Carl Hall, Vernon Macklin, Spencer Dewarik Spencer. Puyen, happy with their performance. They know they're a work in progress. Nothing to hang their heads about. They lost to a good team here. Warwick, last game, six threes, this game, five threes. How do you feel right now? Um, I feel pretty good, man. Um, I had a little stomach trouble earlier today, but hopefully it's passed. Uh, I feel pretty good, though. Are you tired at all after three games? Oh, yeah, of course. I'm, I'm really, really tired, but, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, right? So. And, Brennan, 22 points, six rebounds, nine assists. You feel in the stat sheets. How, how do you like your stats? Um, obviously, I got to rebound better, but um, 
got guys like uh, Spencer and other shooters around, so it makes it a little easier to play one-on-one -on -one in the post and look for uh, my shooter. So, I'm okay. This is the first.